Hi everyone. In this video, I will demonstrate cleaning a uh, Star Wars 42 first appearance of Boba Fett and a Star Wars 43 first appearance of Lando Calrissian that were uh, sent to me by a customer. And I also want to review some responses from people who have used some of my cleaner. I didn't have as much video as I would have liked on this particular cleaning because my camera wasn't working properly. But so maybe I'll just show some images and, and sort of narrate them where I'm missing some lack of, so I have some lack of detail. Anyway, I hope you in, enjoy the video and uh, see, you, see you around. So this first one is from Chris and he said, don't feel obliged to respond to every instance of my sharing, but here's something. This is just from the inside borders and the second day of doing this, that's your magic liquid at work. So he shares uh, tales of suspense with uh, Captain America and Iron Man. I'm not sure when this is from, definitely Silver Age, and he has some uh, some dirt on a soil patch here. Now this, look, this brown material here is the uh, aged, is the oxidized cellulose fiber, so he's lightening up the inside of his book on the inside trim, which is something I hadn't really done before, but uh, he's just sharing that, so uh, thanks there, uh, Chris, very cool. And we have another example, this also from Chris, of just his dirty uh, makeup pads. He doesn't specify, oh, Fa Fantastic 486 he's been working on. And here's some of the dirt he's removed so far. Now, now notice this, I believe that these pads, and I think he mentions it too, are actually removing some of the yellow ink a little bit. And that that was that is gonna happen, so I have to be really cautious because yellow ink is soluble just in water. Uh, so it's not particularly the, the cleaner, but just getting it wet in general, it's much more soluble than the other colors. But he's also removing a lot of dirt, so, you know, good on him. I'm sure this book's going to look great. He's getting really good at this. Just a couple more. I have an email here from Stephen, and he writes, I'm finalizing my long Halloween number one prestige from, uh, format for CGC. There's a slight corner bend in the front bottom right. I'm trying to fix, including these fo photos detailing how I do my prestige format book. So those the ones with the thick, thick covers. You notice I use steel plates and cut pieces of backer board to reinforce the spine. I also use 65 pound cardstock under the front and back cover. Heat the heat press to 120 with the book inside, then turn it off. Let's sit 24 hours and do it again. Lightly iron the corner a couple of times, very lightly trying to avoid burning or discoloring the cover. It seems to have gotten better. Where you didn't notice it if you look at the book, but if you tilt it under the bright light, you can still slightly see it. I think it's the best I've got. General lesson is to be careful where you spend money on these as they can be difficult to fix. Yeah, I hear you, brother. Otherwise, it's a nice copy. Hopefully, it gets 9.8 fingers crossed. Probably not, but probably 9.6. It's a beautiful book. Look at this guy's setup. It's really good. I mean, he's got it set up pretty nice. And he's got a steamer and some peroxide and all of his stuff. It's got it really nicely done. It's got some tunes in the back. And he's got some steel plates. Steel plates are great. Uh, I use aluminum plates. Uh, steel is better, but way more expensive. Um, so yeah, he's he's pressing. He's got some uh, probably some chamfer boards, some silicone sheets here, and this book looks pretty good when he comes he comes out of this. He's um, it's a it's a nice looking book. Uh, he's talking about this bottom corner here, which is difficult to see in these images, but uh, there I think he's got a little little spot right here that's gonna possibly keep him out of the 9.8 range. I don't want to wish him any ill will. I just don't see it happening. There you go. Oh, he's got a great photo of it here. So, I don't know. It's probably going to be a 9.6. Um, thank you for that, Stephen. And lastly today, if we look at Colorado Springs Comics, he sends me a couple before and after pictures. He's got a uh, Warlord. I'm not sure what number this is. Here's These are his before pictures. And then he cleaned them. And he's got the after picks. He's cleaned and pressed them. Looks a little better. It's, I would say it's not super, but but definitely better than it was before. So, And here's the uh, amount of dirt he got off. It's pretty modest dirt. I think, don't think these were very dirty to start with. But he's learning, and so uh, good on you, Ron. I appreciate the feedback. It's cool, man. So what have I been up to? Well, my customers sent me... Um, one of the customers sent me a Iron, uh, uh, Star Wars 42 and 43. Both have had a lot of ink. Both were owned by the same kid named Todd Klein, who wrote prolifically all really the inside and outside of these books. This is the uh, 42, and it well it has some before and after after pictures here. You can see that there was a lot of like wrinkling up front and uh, some, you know red spots and ink. 
There's some writing up here that I got a little bit of the ink. I stopped because I got some of the yellow ink off of it around there. I've lightened it, but I don't feel comfortable going forward. So uh, I just wasn't going to have any luck with this particular book, so I gave up. Uh, it does look better than it did originally, however. And I did, however, have a, a lot of success with this book, which is the first appearance of Landau Calrissian, Star Wars 43. There was a signature, a name in here, which I got 90% of it out, possibly 95%. Uh, brightened up a lot of the whites, cleaned up the book, pressed it, got a lot of wrinkles out. So this book's, I mean, none of these are going to be a great book in any case. There's there maybe VG plus, this possibly VF minus on this one, but probably not. Uh, but they look a lot better. The eye appeal is, is much better. So I'll have some before and after pictures of this on the front and on the back as well. I'll show you here. I'll give you a second to see them. And then I will show you what I have of the video. Unfortunately, uh, my camera wasn't working properly, so I don't have all the video that I wanted of this procedure, but I will say that I had to use uh, my MacuClean solution, my Fox Out solution, my whitening solution, and my ink solve. I had to use all four. Um, I only can sell one of them online until I pay $10,000 in permits and insurance for the other stuff, but, um, but I do, that's what I use to clean them myself, and they were all developed by me. Uh, here at home. So I hope you enjoy the videos. If you have any questions, please put them down below. Also, if you can do things better than me, which I'm sure most do, most of you can do something better than me, uh, please please put it down there and, and, and share the knowledge with the world. Uh, let's not keep this between a few of us. Let's let's preserve these, these books. All right. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. So what do we have here? We have super wrinkly cover with some writing poking through. Apparently, some marks, signature, ink, ink. Okay, we have general dirt, general dirt. Okay, and ink, lots of wrinkles. I'm really worried about this signature. I'm not sure I'll get that up, but obviously, I'm going to try. And we're just going to make this look better in general. I started using these these reusable organic cotton pads for my cleaner. And we'll see how they work. I put them in a laundry bag and you wash them with something like this so that I don't create as much waste. We'll see what I can do. And I'm going to lightly go over the surface first, see if anything comes up. I don't want to push stuff into the surface, but I don't get anything this way. We're just going to try normal wet cleaning and see what comes up first and how much better it looks with that. And honestly, not a lot's coming up. I think maybe these these pads might not be the best. Let's see what I got here. Yeah, these pads really suck. I think I wasted my money on them. Yeah, so all that yellow is going to come up too easily freaks me out. So I really can't clean that very much. I might have to give up on the signature. Let me try <clears throat> the other side here of the book. Let's see. So I have to really, before I put this down on the table, I need to let this air dry a little bit before I can flip it over and do the other side. I don't really like to do them right away, so we'll take a little pause. So as per usual, we use our, I use my two solutions to whiten it. I'll put this guy first. I'm sure that this will at least help quite a bit. Like I said, we could get that signature out, but we would try to take too much of that yellow out for my comfort. And this is not my book, so I don't really want to challenge it. But just on the white parts here, I'm going to brighten up the schmutzes on this front side. It'll probably look better. Well, yeah, it will look better. I'm just going to bring it out a little. It tends to make the whole book just look a little better. Then we will go in here and neutralize it real quick. Make sure that we stop it from hurting the paper 
you only have a couple minutes, so you have to really be good at it. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I lost my video of the second book, but here's what the back of the book looks like before and after. Now this is me doing this for a customer. I don't sell the compounds for this, but you can look in the description below if you want to buy this uh, as a service from me. And you can um, you can get the immaculate clean, which will help, but it won't do do all of this work, which is of course you know um, a big difference here. And here I'll show you the cover of this book. And you can see this book here, which is the cover. I think I started with this in the video and the customer wanted this signature removed, which you can see that I didn't quite get out all the way. It took me a long time. It was about 14 hours of work to get this book looking like it does. And it's kind of a subtle difference unless you know what you're looking for. But you can see here that the signature is mostly gone. The book looks a lot better overall if you, if you really know what you're looking for. So that's it for this week, folks. Um, visit our website, and I'll see you around online. Take care. Bye-bye.